prisoners. We have the youth, we have Venezuelan representatives, the brigade, Miami medical team. It's, it's, there's a lot of leaders here. Radio Mambi and WQBA have been the voice, voices of the exiled community and of the suffering of the Cuban people in the island throughout 63 years under a communist rule. We're unified in our condemnation of human rights abuses in Cuba. And these two stations are iconic. They're, they're a central uh, hub of information from Cuba and about Cuba. And we're concerned because there's, there's a political and ideological background here, baggage, and we're concerned that, that this, these hubs of information be silenced or be marginalized. That's, that's really important to us. We are very much afraid that it is a tremendous effort to silence the voices of our exiled community, to silence the voices of the victims of communist tyranny in Cuba and in elsewhere in our hemisphere. The FCC still has to approve this. Our first action will be a letter of concern expressing the points of views we've, we've stated here. It'll be legally correct and we're going to mobilize because the public space, mass media, is about what the discourse is in a community. And we're going to fight for the truth we know, that Cuba is a prison and that communism is a threat to the most essential elements of human dignity.